YouTube, get. Just stick with me. <laughs> this is crazy. I mute myself so in case y'all didn't hear that. It's people, man. Look at these people. Look at this dude in the back. Look at this dude right here. Look at this girl. This girl right here, her breasts just barely covered. Is that a kid in the background? This kid's. Oh man, it's so hard to see. Look at this dude. Look at all these. Does this look like normal people to y'all, guys? Look at this dude in the back. <sighs> it just, it just, it never goes away. It's, it's, it just never goes away. We're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. Excellent, excellent, excellent content for you to put out there on the internet. Let me say this, guys. This is the Pride Parade. And I know this Pride Month, we've been on it. <laughs> this is probably the first Pride Month I've ever seen where so many people have come out making videos against the LGBT. Normally during Pride Month, Pride Month has, it just takes over everything. But this year we're like, no, 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 I'm done with it. I'm done, I'm done, I can't do it no more. And so here we are. So we're gonna have this conversation about they're coming for our children. Does that not sound like something that's weird? What if we said, we're here, we're straight. We're coming for your children. Doesn't that sound pedophilish? I'm sorry. Doesn't that sound weird to you? That sounds weird to me. If I heard anybody say that, hey, we're here. We're black. We're coming for your children. It's like, <laughs> I'm like anything you put there, we're here. We're anything. We're coming for your children. It just sounds sick no matter how you put that across. But I know some people want to say, you know, I know, I can understand. It's people want to play the other side of the coin. Well, they mean that they're coming to protect their children. Mm, looking like this? These are the kind of people I want protecting my children? That? Th this is who I want protecting my kid? This, this dude here in the back? That, that's who I want protecting my child? This, this dude right here, I want that protecting my child? Th this woman right here? This dude right here, this woman with her breast out, that that's who I want coming for my children to protect them? Heck no. You, are you kidding? Listen, we must continue to protect our children at all costs. We must continue to stand up. We must continue to be the difference. Because the longer we stand by and let this kind of stuff happen, it's only gonna keep getting worse. I, I, I don't really don't know much what else more to say? You know, I kind of wanted to, um, that video we just saw with the black woman and the kid, if y'all haven't seen that video, go watch it. This is, I just said, I had put up on Twitter, I put that we treat young black men, this is different, but I said pretty much young black men get treated like objects. And I want to say the same thing for these children and these pride parades. What they do, sorry guys, I don't mean to slouch, but I don't have any back support in this chair. But one of the things that we do is we make children kind of an object, a political gang now. I think kids used to just be kids. We just kept them out of the fire. But now kids are getting put in as an actual political object to be used as a validation tactic. Tactic, right? Same thing I've always been talking about. I'll say it again. When people are asking young kindergartners to call them she, him, he, her, and they feel like they're validated by that, that's insane. 
But I think the same thing is happening here. You got dudes dressing and just you got a woman with her breast out. You got some dudes back there dressing like provocatively, just weirdo costumes. This guy wearing a dress with his chest out. It's just they're, they're wanting the children to validate that and be like, yes. Oh, I know I'm only five years old and I'm just learning about how to uh, even spell my name. But yes, I validate you as a gay person. I validate you as a lesbian. And these are weirdos, okay? I'm not saying all the LGBT is weird, but these in particular individuals in the group, those are the ones that need to be casted out. Those are the ones who need to, they don't need to speak about it. Listen, I know I'm against it. I understand, okay? Morally, I would be against the LGBT anyway, but at the same time, if their principles were just standing on education and saying, what is this? What is it more about? I'm cool, but when it starts coming in, bringing in kids and y'all start... And you get people like this who just dress weird. To dress, I don't consider that part of the LGBT. They do, but I say that's the weird version of the LGBT. Now, that's the most vocal now, but that is a weird ver- And I think people who are really gay, lesbian, most of them don't really join these cults. I've talked to people who are gay, lesbian. I know that's anecdotal. So don't just take my thing for it, but go talk to people. Somebody who says they're openly gay, they're not flamboyant, nothing like that, but just talk to people who are just gay. They, they, they're gay and they mind their business. The lesbian, they mind their business. Talk to them. Ask them if they really mess with the LGBT. From what I've heard, they don't even consider themselves a part of it. They say, what? I asked one person, and they were like, it's probably the best answer I've ever gotten. I said, "Do you? Um, are you part of the LGBT? And they were like, why would I label myself a part of something? She, the, it was a lady, and she's like, I like girls. I'm gay. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to put that out there like that. I don't really care what people think. And that's, that's about what I thought it was kind of like. You know, it's just like, okay, you like women. Maybe, you know, something, you know, something down the line. That's just how you grew up or something like that. They just like, I don't need to be part of some group to tell me I'm a lesbian. And that's kind of how I feel about the whole group in a whole. I think the vast majority, now some of them may feel like they need to combine themselves with that. But I think a lot of them, and I could be wrong, you, you, y'all let me know. Y'all go ask some people, come back to me. But putting themselves in this group, they don't even want to be even thought about as part of their group. They may just say I'm gay and they might not even tell you unless you really straight up ask them. Because not a, I don't I don't know, I don't feel like a lot of gay or lesbian people or even trans people really want to come out and tell you all about their story because they don't care that you know that they're living their lives. Once again, those are human beings, and I say this all the time. But they got jobs, they got bills, possibly have kids, they have things they got to do in life. They don't need to spend every waking moment throwing a rainbow flag in your face and saying I'm gay. They're just like, man, I'm just trying to live my life. I got other stuff to do. Because you know when these people aren't at this proper rate, they got to go home. They got to go home to their lives. They got to go home to those bills. They got to go home to life. They can't just sit all day just sitting in the proper race saying, we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your kids. They can't do that all day long now. They can't do that every day, all day. They're going to have to go back home at some point. Unless all these people are billionaires, they're going to have to go back home. If all these people are even millionaires, nope. These people going to have to go home and sit back on that couch and realize that the world doesn't revolve around them because nobody, we don't know who any of these people are. They're going to go home and nobody knows who their name is. They may hop on a TikTok and be like, hey, I was at the gay parade. I was at the gay parade. <laughs> I was at proper parade and we were saying we're here. We're queer. We're coming for your children. You know, and then they'll disappear into the void of TikTok. Because once a video pops off, somebody still don't know your name. You know what's so funny? People who uh, seek attention like this, and this is a realization that I think we all have to come to. We're really not as important as we think we are. When this video goes off and somebody watches it, they may never watch me again, don't even know my name, don't care about me. They just said, wow, there was this one guy who did something. And then some people will come in here and just be like, oh, that was just some fat guy I trolled, some black guy I trolled. Or some guy, he was pretty cool, I actually enjoyed him, he was cool. Some people might actually come back. But the vast majority of the time, it's like people come, y'all see it all the time when you go to YouTube videos, right? Somebody would be like, half of you guys aren't even subscribed to me. So click that subscribe button and make sure you like the video. Exactly. The vast majority of the people who are even still watching your videos aren't even subscribed. That just goes to show you people just come and go. So that's how you have to treat it. And these people feel like they're getting so much attention. They feel they feel it. They, they're feeling the vibe because they got all this validation. But at the end of the day, when they go home and click off the lamp and they have to sit in that dark room all alone, some people just can't handle being alone like that. <sighs> these people are weird. Keep them away from your kids. Anybody who wants to go out and say we're here, we're anything, we're coming for your children, sound like sickos. And these people need to stay far away from children. Far away. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm out of here.